right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Yippee. Hold on, let me send out a ping to people. Alrighty. Hey yo, hey yo, hello, hello everybody. Hopping game. When is Chocolate Factory actually dropping? I have no idea about the specifics of that. Probably... Maybe Tuesday? It's possibly a Tuesday thing. It's probably a Tuesday thing. Donut! I'm not happy about that, Donut. I can't believe you just said that, Donut. It's messed up. Hey, Rickan, what's up? How's everybody doing? Hope everyone's doing good. There is no Peridot in that little area, so I'm gonna have to go to the next one. This Tuesday? Yeah, if I had to guess, Hoppity, probably this Tuesday. Maybe maybe after that. Could be in a week or two. Um, they could try to like combine it with Mayors. Because Mayors, I figure, drops in like a week. Um, could be after, but I'm not 100% certain about that. I'm on main at the moment. I'm on the main server. I'm going to be doing some Heart of the Mountain stuff because I need to get to the next... Heart of the Mountain level. Uh, Heart of the Mountain 7 still, and I feel bad about it, so I'm going to try to get to 8. And um, after that's done, we'll be hopping on Alpha, doing some Alpha stuff, and chilling. Also, this will help me figure out the routes more for the uh, Glacite Tunnels. I have been addicted. That's awesome, Ari the Monkey. Music's so good. Yeah. Have a Mineshaft party you want to join? Sure. I'll join your Mineshaft party. That sounds awesome, Dona. Yippee. Do we know what Hoppity will be selling? Uh, Hoppity sells different rabbits every single time. If you're thinking about the chocolate shop, that's a little separate. Also, don't I? I to accept your request, obviously. Make sure the music's loud enough. Uh, it's a little too loud. I want to lower it. Just a tad. There we go. Going right, left, or left, right, alternating from middle path leads to the huge onyx circle. Interesting. Pause. Pause. <laughs> we got some free powder from that. And from this as well. Here we go. Free 5k. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for tungsten. And that's pretty much everywhere around here. Don't leave our lobby. Alright, I will not leave the lobby. Just because you've said that, I will not leave. But yeah, we're getting fairly close to, to Heart of the Mountain 8. Fairly close. We're about 88% of the way there. Another 30k, which is about another... I don't know. 40 comes. Which, like, sounds like a lot, but in reality is not nearly as bad as it sounds. Levels above 250 is not allowed. Real. Sorry, you're just not allowed to be there. If you're above level 250, you can't be in that lobby. Have a nice grind. Well, thank you. Try and do... Fix something about the stream. There we go. Also, I suggested to just mine on your own as it's faster that way to get Heart of the Mountain XP. Um, yeah, it is. But also, I have a lot of comms that are related to getting, like... I don't know. Killing a lot of guys in here and also getting the, um, getting the corpses and stuff like that. Like corpse looter right here. And there's three lapis ones here. So that's like a free whole thing done. Also, ironically enough, this is also a tungsten, uh, place, which is very, very nice. Um, pretty happy about that, ironically enough. Best to do it during double powder since they give powder too, yeah. So we got Tungsten Collector done. There's Glacite in here as well. I'm looking for the other two guys I have to grab. That guy. And where's the third? Is he in here? Yeah, there he is. Very cool. Dorelius, fix your tree. Yeah, I know my tree's so bad. I don't even want to look at it right now. 
I'm like, that's a huge cope, but yeah. Go as high efficient miner as you can. Yeah, I might have to do that, honestly. Alright, let me let me do that real quick. I'll uh I'll warp out of here as soon as I grab the um scrap from this. Chocolate Factory is not out on main yet. It will be out probably sometime this week, maybe next week at the latest. I don't I don't imagine they keep this for a very significant amount of time. Yeah, it's not out yet, don't worry. Oh, actually, I should be mining a uh, clay site. What am I doing? Actually throwing. Paleontologist enchant is bugged. It gives suspicious scrap at way higher rates than without it, yeah. I, I heard about it being uh, bugged, and I don't know... I don't know how... Uh, how bugged it is. I heard it was very significant, which is pretty interesting, honestly, that there was just a, a major issue. It is very good. Ten times rates. That's crazy. Get it right now? How much is it? How much is it to, to purchase? Just need level one to... Oh, only ten mil? Really? All right, I'll go warp camp. All right, so I'll, I'll buy that real quick. And then I'll also um, fix my tree. So let me do uh, Bazaar. And then I go Paley. Ontologist 1. Cool. That's Polar Void. Very cool. Alright, that's done. Um, and let me do... So you want efficient miner as high as possible. So, I'm just trying to remember. I don't I don't even need this, actually. Well, I do, because I need to get Mining Speed Boost eventually. I don't even know if Mining Madness is worth it. I'm trying to think about the logistics of how I, I do this. Alright. Um, so, let's do this, 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 this. Okay, and powder buff. Cool. And how many tokens do I have left? I have three. I really don't need these two, now that I think about it, because, like, I don't know. It just doesn't seem that worthwhile when I can get both of these. And then I can probably get uh, seasoned, because I don't think... That's not good. That's garbage. That's garbage. That's garbage, too. I'm already in a 7 out of 8 party, by the way. Or an 8 out of 8 party now. So I'll get that. Keep token for Heart of the Mountain 8. Um, I'll get 2 at Heart of the Mountain 8, so that's not really a big deal. Just need to get that up to at least 30. Alright. 35.2. I got that up to. This can't really go up higher. That's fine. And this needs uh, some upgrades. This, 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 this. Uh, mole I don't really need. And I don't really need this either. It's kind of whatever. How much gemstone powder do I have? 221k. Eh. It's not that bad. I'll level up this a little bit because it's kind of cheap. 47k. 22 is fine. Wait, do you not have the specific gemstone root? You just have the gemstones waypoint. No, I don't have a specific root. What's your total powder? I'm not really a, a mining pro. So I went down like 6 XP, rest in peace. I wonder why I went down XP. It's so strange how that works. Will that do it? Okay, never mind. I'm not down any more XP. I lied. Um, I don't have a specific route just because I, I don't really mine super often and therefore I don't really have a... I don't know. Not big brain. 
at the moment. <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm taking this very slow. I'm only like, I'm only Heart of the Mountain 7 at the moment. I'm still going for 8. And because of that, I've just been generally behind, like, on other things as well. Which, like, is totally on me, I understand. But, um, it's just how it is, you know? So this should make the rates way higher. So I want to get rid of these guys, because they will kill me otherwise. Oh, it's, like, not nice, but whatever. Come on, I got Heart of the Mountain 10, day 2 of update. That's crazy. Also, I already got a Scrapple, so I don't want to die. Sorry. Already got a scrap, which is very cool. So can you just keep dropping more here? Is that how it works? Like, if I just if I just keep mining, can I just, like, go crazy on it? See, bro, you got a scrap within three? That's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty significant uh, busted thing at the moment. One proc? Okay, one proc, that's fine. Thanks for letting me know. Um, let me look for... The guy I have to find here. Where are you? Where is this guy? Question of the day. Down here? Yes, he is. Very nice. Just mine up some free stuff here. Alright, I'll just walk back to the mines. Oh, you can get more than one? Okay. Well, in the future, I'll just stay there, then. Very cool. I didn't realize that. Thank you, chat. Very, very nice of you guys to uh, help out. Let me go get some citrine. Hello, hello. Aquamarine, that is up that way. Still up that way. Ugh. I think I have to go, yeah, around this way to get up there. No, maybe not. I lied. I'm actually lying for clout. Okay. I'm just stupid. Never mind. Corpses don't count as a proc, by the way. Yeah, I figured that was the case. I didn't figure that uh, corpses would count. Anyone know when Chocolate Factory releases? Uh, potentially Tuesday. If not, next Tuesday. I don't figure it drops any other time. Also, I don't know why my, my mouse has been bugging out recently. Maybe I just need a new mouse. Um, if you saw there, it was like kind of struggling to, um, I guess stay oriented properly. Like it was, like I was trying to move it left and it just wasn't operating, uh, the way I wanted it to. It wasn't really responding to my inputs. The good news is, I can get another one pretty reasonably, so I'm not too worried about that. Corpses giving scrap counts for the commission? Yeah, I, I, I know that. That's pretty cool that it does that as well. I look for tungsten. Where is tungsten? Question of the day. I think there was one. Well, it was right here, but someone went absolutely crazy on it. up hello i really wish they finished all of the devon equipment before they released the update i think that they wanted the other devon equipment items to be utilized as part of like a different update um or rather different parts of this update like you get you know the pendant directly from the corpses maybe there's a new event that drops one of the other ones so on and so forth um that's my thought process as to why because it'd be kind of boring right if you got all four of them from just random drops. You know? You made 1.2 bill from this update so far? That is crazy, man. That's nuts. I've made, like, next to nothing. I have not been grinding to my full potential, I will say. Have not been grinding to my full potential. Yeah, I wanted to go to SPE. I wanted to see if Fossil Solver is on, and it looks like it is, so I should be okay. So 
So I want to try to turn in that scrap that I got. It's trying to help me. Oh, never mind. I got warped in. Unlucky. I was in the middle of scrapping it up, man. At least we got a, uh... Oh, no, no crystal. So sad. Only the owner of the mine shaft can interact with it. Very cool, though, that they got it. I have to do Paradot anyway, so that's also helpful. Hi, Duralius. Hi, Final Dash. How are you doing? One of the pieces is definitely going to be a drop from the new sea creatures. Yeah, like stuff like that. That's actually smart. I didn't think about that. I'm gonna kill those guys because it seems like no one else is. My party, I think, is at 7 or 8. I'm not certain, though. Yeah. Free scrap is nice. It, it is very nice being able to just get it super easily in comparison. Chat. Hi, Hypo. How are you doing? How old am I? I'm 20. Can I join for a bit if there's space? Let me see. P list. Sex P. Uh. Okay. What's the new chocolate factory upgrade? There's a new thing that's unlocked at Prestige 4. I have no idea. No one's gotten there, I don't think, yet. So, keep that in mind. I like how this, like, helps you try to figure out where they potentially could be. Alright. Uh, let's go over this way. This thing is still fully mined out. Awesome. Eight now. Got a portal. Nice. Transfer. Very cool. We're just going, like, room hopping, man. This is awesome. Oh, wow. Look at that. Who has a, uh, <laughs> a key for him? Potentially, you can make quite a bit of money. Or you can make literally nothing. How do you feel about tunnels? I like it. I think tunnels is pretty cool. I currently have no problem with it. Also, there's a glacite shard. W stream, thank you. So there's a scrap. Very cool. Locket is second highest, single most expensive item in the game right now. After Game Breaker. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. It's, it's like a 1 in 250 drop. We're really just getting lobby swapped over and over. This is awesome. There's a lapis one in this place as well. There he is. Free onyx and free citrine. Oh, and this one's obtained one scrap. Very cool. I don't know, things are moving very quickly with this party. I like it. For when Skyblock is ported to 1.20, then you can use Sodium, yeah. If you are someone who's, like, concerned about the server running slower for you when you, you know, when the server eventually moves to 1.20, I would say you can kind of ease your mind about it. A, it's not going to be, like, rendering a regular Minecraft world. Like, things are going to be already optimized because... You know, the server environment requires it. 
but also, ooh, sorry about that. Um, aside from that optimization that's going to be going on, just consider like the level of, of mod support for 1.20 that has already existed. You know, you think things like Optifine and uh, Essentials are like good for gameplay purposes. I don't know, Sodium is way better. And, I don't know, there's mods that are even better than that. Some people have made like crazy stuff, you know? You're going to be able to, to utilize stuff in 1.20 to a much greater degree than you otherwise would be able to in 1.8. Server side runs a lot of backend optimizations, exactly, that would otherwise run on your own computer, so it would be smoother than you think. Yes, I agree with that. Completely agree. It'll be very smooth for the most part. People don't understand how smooth it'll end up feeling, but it'll be it'll be pretty great. Um, that's why I know a lot of people are a little like, you know, hesitant, a little worried. I, I think there's nothing reasonably to worry about, you know? I think generally things are gonna be fine. Yeah, it's also easier to optimize a server in 1.20 than it is in 1.8, simply because of how old a lot of this stuff is. You know, a lot of the stuff in 1.8, the code is old. People have been working on it. It's been in like an amalgamation of 10 years of developer work. And I'm going to be honest, the developers 10 years ago are probably not as good as the developers they have today. A lot of spaghetti code, a lot of issues. Obviously, it's not necessarily a bad thing that, you know, old code is old, but getting a chance to kind of wipe the slate clean and update and upgrade your systems in such a complete manner is, uh, is great. And, and honestly, I, like, with regard to the Dungeons community complaint, at this point, I don't really care. If they have to patch Stonking in order for Skyblock to be, like, a game in 1.20... That's a sacrifice I am personally willing to make. Like, I know I don't play a lot of dungeons, and that's like a, you know, a, ooh, you know, you're talking bad about dungeons, mer, 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 mer. but like, I'd rather the game be able to progress and get better over time, like by a significant margin, than for us to be stuck in 1.8 forever, because dungeons players don't want to make new content. I don't understand what the lobby swapping is for, can you explain? We're just going between lobbies to get access to... Um, the tunnels more easily. Yeah. They can just leave dungeons in 1.8? That's not feasible. There, It's not feasible to leave content in an older version intentionally. Yeah, they could just make a new form of stonking. That's probably what they'll end up doing. That's the most logical uh, solution. You know, leave the uh, old stuff behind and then update the game and then make a new version of stonking somehow. That's probably what they'll end up doing. Yeah. I, th I think the alternative, though, of just leaving the game in an old version of Minecraft, like, perpetually, kind of silly. I'm not gonna lie. Very silly, actually. It's just not beneficial. It's not gonna really help anyone. You know, Dungeons players will get bored of Floor 7 eventually. Yeah, I don't think they're going to do what you're thinking of, uh, Random Name. They won't do that. It will be in 1.20 only. You will only be able to join in 1.20. It's not replacing textures. It'll just be... It'll be the new version forever. And it'll be the new version only. No, we won't. Yes, you will. And, like, my secondary point is that even if you don't, I don't think that's a valid reason to keep the game you know, in such a stagnant state, you know, because they don't want to develop clearly in 1.8 anymore. That's like the whole reason for the move. They don't want to, um, whether that be because they feel like it's, it's limiting them, whether that be because they feel like they could do more in a new version, they don't want to. And they will make worse updates if they are not motivated, you know? It's not even just because of the trees. It's just because you could do so much more in 1.20, man. New items, new blocks, new everything. It's, it's a lot. It's not just the, the trees. There's a lot to look at also. Mm. 
I'm gonna do scrap real quick. Doing scrap real quick. Yippee, I love scrapping. I love scrapping it up. Wow, I got nothing from that. That's so awesome. Let's go. Literally nothing. Oh, 5k, so that's 8k powder. Let's go. Literally nothing. Woohoo! Paradox, we need Umber. That's not too bad. Are scraps still crazy profit? Uh, I think they're cheaper now. Yeah, they're about 950. I think they're slowly dropping in price. So it's not crazy profit anymore, but it's not like a huge loss either. I'd say it's probably still profitable, just not nearly as much. Something new with Chocolate Factory? Um, apparently there's new stuff at Prestige 3 and 4. I'm gonna check that out later. I'm gonna get to Heart of the Mountain 8 for now. Also, Jade's a little sick, so if you hear her coughing in the background, it's just because of her. Her allergies are kicking her butt. Do I have leader? He just... Few people have mod. Pick making forty mil per hour. Yeah. So. Hi, Jade. Hi. Everyone say hello, Jade. Everyone say hello, Jade. Hope you feel better. No. Yeah. I'll be fine. She'll be okay. Just allergies. Just bad allergies. So you're gonna keep yeah. studying. Yeah. Alrighty. I don't want to fail this exam completely. You will not fail the exam completely. Don't worry. Let's see, how much can I sell stuff for? Oh, you know, like, 3 mil. It's pretty cool. Another 915 there. I like how the Glacite shards are worth literally nothing. That's so funny. I don't even know if that was, like, because I got scammed or because, like, they're literally not useful in the slightest. Yeah, they're, no, they're just not useful. You can just buy them. I'll buy, actually, 9 of them right now because they're just worth literally nothing. Why are you buying them? Because it's 15 Skyblock XP. That's oh. why. Boom. Look at that. Yeah, it's literally garbage. I actually want to take off that power because it's so bad. <laughs> it's actually, like, terrible how bad that power is. They should get a mining power in the game. That'd be so sick, I think. It's kind of weird that they don't have that. Hmm. Buy these for bits. Let's go. Save that. Speed and strength. Wait, why do I have I done speed and strength? What am I doing? Hello? <laughs> Probably want crit damage and strength combo. There we go. Anyway. That was pretty embarrassing. I'm using the shards to get more mining speed from an armadillo. Ah, that's pretty smart. That's pretty smart, actually. I didn't even think of that. Where am I going? I gotta go Peridot. Hi, cool guy. Hi, cool guy. So glad you didn't get ratted. Wait, is cool guy in chat? No, he was in your, uh, your chat. Oh. <clears> Hi. <throat> <laughs> mm -hmm, game chat as per usual, yeah. Well, I'm very glad you didn't get ratted as well. Oh, hey, hello. I would have been pretty sad if you got ratted, honestly. I was so worried for you. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Poor Jaden. Look I'm at sorry. her. Hear her cough. I'm trying not to cough directly into the mic. You don't have to worry about that. It's okay. You just gotta focus on feeling better. Speaking of which, do you have to take more uh, medicine now? No, it's hard. Oh, okay. That's actually not that bad. Where am I going? I'm going this way. No way, I'm going this way. 
Why is bro so kind? <laughs> no. I don't hate my girlfriend, guys. Shocking development, I know. Thank you. Appreciate it. We... <coughs> Hopefully by tomorrow you're feeling 100%. I hope so, man. Yeah. I just feel bad that you're not doing the best. Okay. Oh, three lapis here. Let's go. And it's a topaz one. That's kind of fire. Fire. The update is going very good so, uh, so far for me. I'm having a great time. Chocolate update, possibly Tuesday. Do I have the the text? Yeah, let me do this. Watch. Update Tuesday. <clears throat> Boom. No yippee. No yippee. A distinct lack of yippee. <laughs> All right, there's the scrap thing done. How? For a friend is a skyblock player. For a friend, attract a female. For a friend. <laughs> um, so the secret is talk to women. That's about it. Also, you met me after you quit skyblock. Yeah, so I guess quitting skyblock is part of the, the mantra. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Heart of the Mountain 10 was bad. Actually, I I kind of feel like Peak of the Mountain is easier just because you can buy it. Like, you could just buy scrap when prices drop by a significant margin, wait for a double powder, and just go in. You know, you get that maxed out chisel, and you're chilling. And sometimes you can get, like, 30, 40, 50k, um, which is very significant, obviously. When is, to when is chocolate update coming out? Look at the top left corner of your screen. I should get like a live cinema roll reaction and put it in the corner like that other streamer. I should do that. Hold on. Yeah, Watch this. Can you this. do live pom pom pudding reaction? Live pom pom pudding reaction. Can I do that? Is there a meme? Oh, that's oh like man. Okay, just do the cinema roll. Oh, uh, let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I can. I think I can make this real quick. <laughs> hold on, chat. I know I'm. I know I'm like AFKing right now. I know I'm actually trolling. I just need like him. Yeah, like this guy. No, I feel like that one would have been better. This one? Yeah, you're right. But he's like 2,000 by 2,000. I need like something small. Okay, you just scale like him. Oh, that one's good. Him. I want him. Alright. Two seconds of damage. Live blank reaction meme template. Uh, can I add the image? I'm using Im image flip. This is so silly. Uh, what can I do to make it? <laughs> That's it, just save it. Yeah, I'm just gonna save this. Watch, I'm gonna put this together in GIMP. I'm sorry guys, I have to I have to do this. It's very important. It's very important for the the, the stream that this is done. You and Uni, yeah, I am. Three four com slots are locked by mineshaft comms, meaning you're down to just one slot until RNG smiles upon you. Yeah. I don't love that, personally. My leader? No, I'm just a member. Okay. Yeah, I don't- I don't personally love that. Microsoft Terminal? What are you, crazy? You lost your mind. I'm joking, you probably didn't. I don't warp out. Uh, let me go to GIMP and throw this together for the funny. Shouldn't take more than like a minute <coughs> tops. Mm -hmm. What like what is the font they used for the live blank reaction though? Just use a Minecraft font. I guess I could. Yeah, you're so right. Let's see this. It's already about the same size. It's perfect. Yeah, it really is. Let me like clip. 
Oh, well, I don't You're want just that. On one image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All. No, I'm not allowed. You have to deselect first. There you go, I did it. Cool. Uh, and then I can just whoop. And then I'll just add text. I know you can make the letters like, yeah, like squish, because they are kind of close. Perfect. I will say the Minecraft bold font that kind of looks like H's. Yeah, I know. It's impact font. It's impact? Really? Do I even have impact? I don't even have it's a impact. Capital I. Impact. Oh, condensed. Oh, wow, it is. You're so right. That's so correct. Thank you, chatter, whoever did that. You're so real. So it shouldn't be the, the bold variant, then. I think it looks perfect just like that. Mm-hmm. I agree. It looks great. We add a, a little bit of a shadow onto that. <coughs> just like the other. Little blur on there. Yeah, that's cooking. We're cooking on this one, Jade. <laughs> palm. Palm. Palm dot web P. Is it a is it a dot web P? Wait, really? No. Palm dot PNG. <laughs> Alright. How do you uh, exit a mine shaft? You slash... go you can do slash warp camp or just slash hub image. Alright, image file. Grab this real quick. Oh my god, he is wonderful. <laughs> you can also scoot it down and just be his head. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my god, it's him. I love him. <laughs> Let's go! He's a friend, bro. That's awesome. It just improved by like. Is your creator percent. code rail? Absolutely. It is creator code rail. The stream is so much better now. I feel yeah. I feel very happy about this. This is wonderful. Yeah, you gotta go to the start TP pad for that 1k extra powder. If you're that much of a powder enjoyer. In theory, you only have to do about 3,500 mine shafts in order to get enough for potum 10. I did the math in my head, by the way. <laughs> 30 seconds behind the stream. That's, That's crazy. all the time. Just change my name to use code rail. You're so based for that. Oh my god, you're so based for that. Seven is my current uh, Heart of the Mountain level. I'm like, I'm actually pretty close now, 95%. People are like, oh, Duralius, it's going to take a million years if you, you know, you don't actually, you, you know, if you're in a party, it's going to take a million years. Wrong. It's going to be quick and easy. Because I'm right. built different. Time to go study. I'm glad I got to watch Pom Pom up here. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I'm glad we got to do that. Bye, chat. I will die now. It's very fast, takes 10 hours to do. Bro, I am not built for this life, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not built for that. I'm built for taking my time and going slow. Bye, female. <laughs> Don't call her that. Just got Contra to Devon Drill and Skatha for this update. Why don't you Contra me that, honestly? Oh, I use Code Rail. I guess I should friend you, huh? Oh, never mind, I lied. Probably friend you. It's harder to get six and seven compared to eight and nine. That makes sense. It's just because of the amount of a uh, hard amount XP you need per, or get per com. It's just lower. Yippee! Thank you, Dona. Hello, friend. Friend spotted. Can't use the bond until seven, yeah. All right, we got that guy. Oh wait, this is. Oh, I need citrine, not peridot.
I'm not giver of coins, only receiver, based honestly. Honestly based. I don't want to grind six and seven. You know what? You just gotta. Also, thank you, Lilac. I appreciate that. You're a true gamer for that one. For helping me out. Alright, off to the top I go to dip. Woohoo! 1k bonus. What if Rail Yippee emote? Ooh, I should get a Yippee emote at some point. That'd be pretty funny. I like that idea. I'll ask Jade about that. Jade made another emote for me recently. She hasn't sent it to me yet, but I'll add it as soon as it's, uh... Well, there to be added, I guess. We're gonna try to get more emotes and stuff done, and then tomorrow I'll actually, like, buckle down and work on that, uh, channel member video that I was talking about for the last, like, three, four days. Almost a week now. Oh my god, it's been a week since I said I was gonna make that. I'm sorry, I'm, like, slow with this stuff. My apologies, man. It just takes me a bit. <laughs> You could add not paid emotes for people who can't buy subscription. I actually agree with that. There's a lot of things I would do if I was able to just add emotes, for example. I think you should be able to get, like, an emote for free. I hope they implement, like, a channel point thing, you know? I feel like they could do channel points better than Twitch even could. Um, because YouTube has a lot of better functionality, for example. Like, being able to use, like, channel points on Twitch is already so cool. And being able to, like, I don't know, imagine, like, for a certain amount of channel points, you were able to watch for an hour with no ads. Like, I'd, I'd do that. That would be so sick. And with Skyblock specifically, there are so many things that we could potentially do uh, with channel points and stuff like that. You know, fun little mini events and things of that nature. So, yippee, Tungsten Collector is done. I have to get Umber. Yeah, I did, uh, donate it, uh, all of the things to the thing. <laughs> all of the fossils to the center. Uh, I was struggling to form sentences there. Every minute of watching and you send a message every few minutes, that also goes a point. Yeah, you know, there, there's stuff for liking the stream they could do. You know, there's a lot they could potentially do there. Um... And I feel like they're just, they're, it's just a wasted opportunity, honestly, especially considering how poor the, the performance of, of Twitch relatively has been, um, at least recently. I feel like they've been really struggling, and I feel like they could really capitalize on that. Pay to win hard amount of XP by donating fossils? I think 80,000 you can get. Maybe 40,000. Maybe I'm wrong. Regardless, you can get some amount, which is cool. It's pretty cool. Bro, ignore, remove me. Oh, hey, what's up, Uwago? It's been way too long. Sorry, Uwago. Uh, ignore, remove, Uwago. Just don't be annoying and you'll be chilling. Don't spam up my streams with... Guys, I'm the guy who made 60 mil off of a Duralia stream once, guys. And then we're chilling. If you even mention it once again, then you're you're banned from speaking on the Doralius channel ever again. Real and true. Uh, did I get one already? No. Okay, scrap. Scrap is received. Yippee. Time to go back home. Donut keeps accidentally misclicking. It's so funny. Absolute skill issue on their part. 1984. Currently abusing paleontologist? Absolutely. Maliciously. Not really. I don't even know if it's a bug. It might actually be genuinely how high they, they want the rates to be. Because some people were saying or like implying that like it's supposed to be a, a buff of like literally just 2.5%, which I feel like is comically low. I feel like now is what the rates should reasonably be. Also, thank you, Q's Code Rail, for saying that. Big Rail is watching, yeah. 
I'll report it as soon as the stream's over. I didn't even know it was really a bug until the stream started, so... Is it really meant to be multiplicative, though? Like, have they specifically stated that? I don't know, sometimes there are things that people think are bugs, and then they're just not bugs. And they're just, like, actual intended behavior. Use code rail to get a girlfriend. It worked for me. Crazy. Absolutely insane. How did I randomly join your party? Luck. Huge amounts of luck. Luck really helped you there. 2.5 multiplier rather than 2.5% each break makes a huge difference. Yeah, I, I agree that it makes a big difference. I just... I don't know. The rates right now feel fine. I don't know. It doesn't feel like comically easy like you don't get it on the first hit every time maybe at like paleontologist 5 you do but also even if that is the case is that really so bad because like clearly scrap is not meant to be like the comically difficult to get thing right now you know yeah i think they should keep it additive and maybe make it 0.75 per instead of 2.5 per or maybe one, one percent. You know, don't nerf it into the ground. I think one is fine, right? Because at one, it'll still be significant, but not nearly as significant as it is now. And and you'll still want to get at least a three. And five will probably be even better than that. So I don't know. On your island, if you want contra, I do love money. Give me one moment. I love me some cash. Hello, Taco Cat. You can have a free Glacite Shard. Thank you for the 69 mil. Oh my lord. And the last breath. With the Infinite Quiver 10. That's crazy. Oh man! Let's go! Thank you, Taco Cat. You're awesome for that, man. I appreciate that a lot. If you're in my Discord, say hi, and I'll put you on as, like, a, an SRS, like, top donator and stuff, and I'll give you all those little rolls. They don't do anything. They're just silly little, uh, color rolls that make you a different color. A hundred mil for the shard. Let's go. Warp. Yeah, feel free to warp. Mm, yes, cosmetic. I mean, they are cosmetic. It's just silly. Silly goofy. Viewer tax, real. It's a viewer tax, man. They gotta pay the viewer tax. What am I looking for? Corpses. There's a lapis guy here. He's not high up, he's just, uh... Up here. Actually. Am I losing it? Oh wait, he might be behind the wall here. Yep, there he is. Very cool. Got a glacite jewel for that. Very nice. Um, let's see. Glacite collector. Just buy a key or two to test your luck. Yeah. I should probably buy a key or two, you're so right. Is it Sky Hanny? It's not Sky Hanny, it's Sky Tills that I'm using at the moment. I like Sky Tills, I like the waypoints it gives. Um, I don't think I use Sky Hanny at all. And there's some other mods that I use that have waypoints built in as well, so I have no idea. It could be multiple. Could get 10 times back for a plate. Yeah, I'll probably grab one key each. Let me go here. Thank you for the 169 mil though, that was really, really nice. Really, really nice of you, man. Super kind. We do this. I'll buy one of those. I don't care if I'm losing like a little bit of money. These are at 58 mil. It's pretty expensive still. Hey, Taco Cat. Put you down. Let me do friends. Or not friends, sorry. Uh, SRS member. SRS member. And top salary. Man. There we go. Nice gold color. Crazy tip. Put that in here with my other bows. Spend like 15 mil on donating fossils. Yeah, the fossils are, are very important to donate. Umber, corpse looter. Okay, it's, it's just umber I need. Let 
It's hard on the mountain get easier to grind after seven. Or is it still endless commissions? It's still endless commissions, but in my opinion, it's a little faster and a little more fun because of the new content associated with those commissions, you know? It's a lot more fun doing this Umber stuff than it is to, like, get the same amount of anything in the Dwarven Mines or the Crystal Hollows, you know? New content is just more fun, which is a good thing. Also, where'd my waypoints go? Hello? No waypoints? Where, where'd my waypoints go? They're gone. I feel like I'm blind now. Skytails. What did you do? Where's my waypoints? Really? Where, where did they go? No, seriously, they're just gone. That's crazy. Alright, import from clipboard? Oh no, that won't work. Oh, I guess I'll grab them again. That's crazy, they just disappeared. Let me go here. I'll link these in chat, actually, in, uh, in general chat on my Discord. So join if you want them. Actually, I'll put them in announcements. Hi guys, here's the waypoints for Waysite. I got this from Banana, who got this from someone else. Alright. It's crazy that they just disappeared, though. Successfully, well, unknown island, what? Unknown island detected. Wah. What? Why, why, oh, what is even happening? I don't even know, man. Uh, uh. Okay, I'll figure it out in just a second. It's so strange. All right, Umber and Tungsten Keys, here we go. Oh, the perfect amount, it's crazy. It matches this place perfectly. So that is a lot of free titanium. Scrap collector done. Let's see, what do I actually have to get? Kill these guys real quick. Got any of the crystals yet? No, no crystals so far. Where are the people at though, is the question of the day. Here's the umber guy. Just powder and some fines. Not very worth it. Where are the two tungsten guys at? Here's one of them. Fine citrine, three jewels. At least I got some powder out of that. That was what, 17 grand powder? It's not bad. Could be worse. Uh, let's see. Where's the last guy at? Question of the week. Maybe I'm just stupid. Maybe he doesn't exist at all. Yeah, I don't know. 17k and double powder. Yeah, that was pretty nice. I'm not even gonna lie. Under the scaffolding in the middle. Oh. Like, here? Am I stupid? He hidden? I might be stupid. I might have the stupid, guys. I'm gonna be honest. Oh! Under here. Like... Oh, oh mid-walkway. What? Oh, there he is. Hi. <laughs> Another 7k and a number plate. Is that 20 million value? Hold on. What? Do a giveaway. Do a giveaway. Just for you, I'm not doing a giveaway. Sorry. No giveaway, big dog. Sucks to suck, don't it? <laughs> Maybe if you hadn't said that, you know, I was actually thinking in my mind, you know, maybe I do a giveaway. But, uh, you said that, so it's not happening now. Sorry. That guy in chat, he ruined it. Gamblers always win. Gamblers always win it big, guys. Don't do a giveaway. You know what? That's a good point. Do a skeleton key then? Yeah, you're crazy. You've lost your mind. Clearly gone insane. Umber plates are indeed 20 mil. Yippee, that's profit. I'm a rich boy now. Hmm. 
Alright, there's scrap. Hundreds of skeleton keys for a piece of equipment. Oh yeah, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be so much fun, dude. You don't wanna get like hundreds and hundreds of them? It's gonna be such a great time. Umber plate, 20 mil. 18.9, I can just put it up for. I have five scrap too, that's actually pretty good. Well, actually, I want to sell the uh, umber plate directly like this, just so I don't waste a bunch of money. And then I can go... Oh, that's a reboot. Okay. Do you reckon they'll keep vanilla woods or make custom wood for foraging? I have no idea. Probably keep vanilla woods and maybe make some, like, custom. So, like, the trees are, like, fig trees, but they're not gonna make, like, fig wood. Like, objectively not fig wood. It's gonna be fig wood, but it's gonna be called something else, you know? Or, or it's gonna be a different, uh... It's gonna be a different block that it originally uses. I, I don't know, my point there was pretty muddled. That was a- that was bad phrasing from Duralius over here. You can laugh at me for that one. Also, I just made so much onyx accidentally in, in my inventory. Please go away. Anyway. Please. Thank you. I love excavating. I love getting nothing. Yippee, literally nothing. Let's go. That was crazy. Let's do it again now. Let's go, literally nothing. There's some, some stuff on the fringes. Pretty frequently, I feel like. like. You get stuff in the corners more often. Like, look at that. 5k powder. That's just what I noticed. Chisel is hard on mountain locked. Yeah, I'm just using it for now because I can't be bothered to wait. I'm an impatient man. Found me some stuff here, though. That was pretty nice. Thank you, Chisel. Yippee. Finally put pay back some of my internal debt. Actually, before I do that, I do want to go here. I'll buy up three of these. I'll buy up three of these as well. More gambling. Who doesn't love gambling? Peridot and Onyx. Also need more Umber. We'll get that Onyx real quick. I'm not leader. Okay, just making sure. Oh, GG. Warped in. Poor Jaden's so sick. I feel bad. I hear a coffin in the other room. Hope she feels better soon. Yippee, free scrap. Thanks for the free stuff, big guy. Where are the other guys at? 13k power, powder, pog. Let's go, 13k powder. How long does a uh, double powder last? Is it another like 20 minutes? Or not 20 minutes, another like few minutes? Should be at least a little while longer. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I know you can't find any more, it seems like. Leaping sword works in the mines? That's crazy. Yeah, I'll tell her clocks, don't worry. She knows, I already, we, she already came in and we talked for her a little bit. She knows y'all want her to get better soon. She is a little ill at the moment. Mostly just because of allergies, it's not even like actual sickness. It's just, I don't know, really bad allergies. Which sucks so bad. Do you want G-Drag? I would love a G-Drag. I just love free stuff, man. A lot of things work in here for some reason. Yeah, quite a bit works here, which is pretty cool. So my sell offer was completed. Awesome. Where's the last frozen corpse in here, by the way? I'd like to find him so I can actually get his stuff. Back here. No. What's the point of a mineshaft party? You find them quicker. You find them quicker, you all get to utilize them together. 
Turn on waypoint load. Settings, waypoint. Oh, there you go. No. Waypoint load. Nope. Well, maybe I'm just stupid. Found location for a G drag. Oh, like that? Um, I already have one. Don't worry. I am good. <laughs> I don't have the money for another one at the moment. Eventually, I'll probably get a second, though. It might be worthwhile. Also, oops, I got taken out. It's fine. It doesn't actually matter. I was not going to find it anyway. Thank you, Donna. Very cool friend right here. You have 1.6 bill? Yeah, but I don't have, like, the items on me right now for another. Don't really want another one right now, either. It's not a worthwhile investment at this current moment in time for me. Friend. Hello? Number key? If I bought it, I would be under uh, 1.6 bill, which would be bad. Also, ouch. That was bad. Youch. All that for some fines. Very sad. Where's the other one at? Let's see. Get some umber real quick. Yeah, I think they should lower the time it makes to, or takes to make some of the items from the forge. I think the forge needs some changes, and I think they agree since they wanted to, uh, they're gonna do something related to that in the, uh, Part two of this update. Also, here's the guy. What did I got? I didn't even see it. Paradox crystal. Interesting. Is that good? I think that's good. <laughs> Paradox crystal. So how does that work? Like, what do I do with that? Huge. What do I do with you? Make a perfect. Five flawless paradots. And, okay. So I'll just go, uh, flawless. Five, five flawless. It's about 30 mil. It's not there. It's refined. Perfect. Okay. 25 mil profit. It'll be done in 17 hours. Very cool. Also increase quick forge while I still can a little bit. See a few messages ago. Could be rather helpful. Hold on one second, actually. Close this out. Cool. Take the scoreboard next to date. See exactly what type of mind chat it says. Oh, okay. Labeled fair. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. That is very, very helpful information. Also, how close am I to Heart of the Mountain 8? Dorelius isn't real. He's just a voice in your head. You're so right. Also, I'm <laughs> comically close. Oh, my God. All right. We're going to get caught. Mar our <laughs> Heart of the Mountain 8. I couldn't speak there, so I had to make some words jumble out of me. I apologize for that. Anyway, let's get it. We... I love Heart of the Mountain 8. Should I wait to do Nucleus Runs until I get the mo new pet, or does it matter? I think you should get the new pet. It's really cheap, isn't it? It's just 500k. So, yippee! I am wealthy now. In the next tiers. What should I get? I'm thinking these two. Right? Because this is garbage. This one's kind of mid too. This one doesn't look bad either. Yeah, maybe these two then? Or these two. It's one of, like, it's it's cold resistance. Cold resistance is mid, though. Cold resistance is mid. I'm, gonna, I'm not even gonna lie. Cold resistance is so mid. I know for a fact I'm taking this one, though. No stone unturned is just so good. This one's just objectively one of the best ones. Mayhem is good? Yeah, I'm gonna do mayhem. 
I'm just gonna shift click it up. Actually, wait, shift left click? There we go. I'll, I'll leave that at that level for now. I don't want to waste all of my thing. No stone unturned and mayhem at 8. Then spec to cold res at 9 to get purveyor from more mine shafts. Yeah. That's probably not a bad move. Do this. Tungsten key. Glacite jewels. Very cool. Also another level. Very cool. Free guy. Hello, free man. Mining Madness had relocated at 9. Yeah. Definitely will do that. Set a tree for mining speed 2. Yeah, that makes sense. I wonder where the third guy is. Is he... Oh, yeah, there's literally a little corner here, isn't there? Oh, never mind. Oh, wait. I see him. He's right up there. Hello, friend. Eh, just powder. Not great. Could have been better. There's scrap. Listen, so far we made about 30 mil, 40 mil profit uh, off of this, which is very, very cool. I'll take that as an absolute win. Uh, let me go, instead of warping out, I'll do this. Yeah, you gotta get it from somewhere. Exactly. Exactly. Oh yeah, can't I make... If I go to Forge, I know I'm out of slots, which is unlucky because I have another three days on these. I can't even view other things. Yeah, that's unlucky. I was gonna look at the, the upgrade for Chisel. Anyone have Chisels up? Chisel. 229 mil. What's the lowest? Reinforced. 93. Ugh. That's gross. That's disgusting. And yet I must have it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's gross. How fun and grindy is this update? On a scale of 1 to 10? You can borrow my perfect if you want. No, I'm good, Donna. Thank you. It's hard at the 10. It's hard amount of 10 locked anyway. I think it's about an 8 fun and 10 grindy. It's super grindy content. It's fun, though. I really like it. I, I really have no problems with it. I think it's one of those things that's just uh, really solid. Also, I got warped in. Oops. What do I get as my buff? Do I even know what it is? So. Three finds. Very cool. Uh, and also two more lapis guys in here, which is very nice. So please don't lag me out. Yeah, I think um, you should have... How it should really work is you get one forge slot per Heart of the Mountain level. Maybe you start with two and you get like an extra one at like starting at three and beyond. I don't know. I feel like that'd be pretty good. So you can get up to 10. Right now I would have eight. I think that'd be really sick and it would make more logical sense. Another buff to uh, Heart of the Mountain. You know? So where's the last guy at? Oh, maybe over here. Yeah, he's up there. Very cool. Find Mithril, very cool. Great. What about a consumable item that uh, makes forge time better? I feel like that's just taking the the cat flower solution to like a, a problem that is pretty uh, not cat flower related or or rather uh putting a band-aid over the problem i don't really think that that helps like long term you know i i think the content is still objectively flawed and that's why it's it's a bad i think the solution is more slots maybe generally lowering the amount of time things take like overall and maybe you can do like a mini game or, or something. You can put a resource in and it, it speeds things up for you or something, you know. There are things that can be done. So, that's another 1200 powder. Very cool. Just using this real quick. Oh. Ah, 
that's so unlucky. I wasted a... I wasted a thing. That's so bad, man. Damn. Also, I'm gonna get warped in in a second, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> What's your chocolate factory, by the way? I'll show you guys in a minute. That was unlucky, <laughs> though, I will say. That was, unlucky. that was a totally me skill issuing thing, though. I was clicking way too quick. I was not paying attention to what I was supposed to be doing. So, there's a free guy right there. Very nice. Goblin egg. Very cool. Free guy over here. Nope. He costs money. Free guy over here. Thank you. You win some, you lose some. Yeah. True. So far, I've not been doing bad in this update in terms of money. Yeah, you can make pretty uh, significant money per hour, which is nice. We'll say you can definitely uh, make some. I'm too lazy to warp up back normally, I'm not even gonna lie. Make Forge work similar to Chalk Factory and have a bunch of upgrades. Yeah, I, I don't know, I feel like they could do more to it. Make it more interesting. Oh, here we go. Yippee! Look at that. Claw fossil. How much do these sell for? That's claw, I believe. Oh. That's kind of anticlimactic. Five point three. I'll sell this one for five. I don't really care about making a crazy amount of profit. That's still worth for me. Very cool. At least we got one. Oh. Man, that's two in a row. That was lucky. I'm not even gonna lie. That was that one was really lucky too. Those were like my last possible clicks. I'm not even gonna lie. Enchanted the tungsten there. Two enchanted the tungsten. Very nice. What's this one? Tusk? 799k. That one's like nothing. Yeah, someone took that bid instantly. Oh, thank you, Lilac. <laughs> thank you, Lilac, for the free cash. Appreciate it. I'll take that, man. That was, that was pretty lucky. Having a good time with this update so far. And we're, we're moving up a little bit in Skyblock rank. We're up to 63. 40, which isn't the best, obviously. I could be a lot higher, but uh, I'll take that. In a minute, I'll probably hop off here. And uh, go in on Chocolate Factory for a few minutes, and then maybe come back here for some more grinding. Do you need the Claw Fossil still? Well, you know what? You're chilling now. Now you got it. It's good. Here. BRB like 5 to 10 mid. Alright, let's go on Alpha. Let's see what's going on here. Alright, so I've been like kind of chilling with this. We're up to 896 mil up here and fairly close to the next time tower, or time tower upgrade. I also have to get this. I don't have enough chocolate on me though. Very unlucky for that. Yeah, I'm rank 402. I just, I wasn't operating much this uh, last event, so I'm just falling behind to everybody else. But yeah, this is a pretty unique little update that they got going on. Um, I will say, I'm fairly excited for it to release, because I feel like it's it's one of those things that I'm just going to be able to sit there and turn my brain off and just, you know, grind it. Um, not really thinking about much, which is very, very cool regardless. I am pretty happy about it, and I think that them adding it is going to be good for the game overall. So, GG, good job, admins. Can chocolate make coins? Uh, yes. Yes. And the reason I say that is because you're going to be able to go to the chocolate shop, get these. And if you buy one, and then you buy another, and then you're making like a crazy amount of chocolate, this is going to be like a long-term money-making method, right? Because if you max out your factory, 
you're producing billions of chocolate a week, right? You know, you have a super maxed everything. You have like your, your time tower at like a crazy level. You know, you're going in on this. You're going to be able to sell these for, for pretty significant money. It's a legendary accessory. Not to mention the cape. Not to mention the, the syringes. 10 billion coins. That requires tier 5, you know. You're going to be able to make a lot of money from this. And this is only at tier, you know, 2 at the moment. And it's still making a, a fair amount of chocolate per, you know, hour. I'm making about 2,800 per second. You know, and, and obviously I don't have nearly anything maxed out here. Not to mention, like, these top tier guys. Look at that. That's a good buff right there. That's a good one right there. Rare and higher, higher chance. 30 and 0.3. The cape, 50 per second. And all of these guys are going to give you a decent amount as well. All of these are going to give you more. You know, you're going to be able to, to make a very significant amount from the collection and also the rabbits. So yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be very, very nice. So yeah, that's, that's my little spiel on uh, Hoppity for the moment. Probably hop on there. Ha 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 ha. More later. Also, it's just me and Aids in now. Toki Clicker in a nutshell. For real. Yeah, it's just me and Aidson. We're just gaming right now. Is there a mod that shows hex code for died? I have no idea. Oh wait, I'm not the leader. Uh Peter Transfer. Cool guy. There you go. Ah, just a moment too slow. Damn. Unlucky. Unlucky. I tried doing that as quick as possible. It's all good, Aidson. Don't worry about it. Do not worry. Uh, what am I running around looking for? I'm looking for Umber. Umber and Peridot. Which, there is some... Um... Yeah, some this way. Thoughts on investing in tree caps? Eh, I don't know. I, I don't know how useful that's going to be if the update adds things that immediately make the tree cap useless. You know, I, I don't think that's really the most sound strategy in that regard. You know what I mean? I mean, maybe it'll, maybe it'll make you a bit of money, yeah, but I, I don't know. It might not at the same time. What mod is showing the waypoints? Sky Tills. I have the link to these waypoints in my Discord. Yeah, waypoints are Sky Tills. What am I doing on selling stuff? Not bad. Went up two levels from Heart of the Mountain 9 and immediately back down two for peak eight. That's so funny. That's so base, though. It's how levels go, man. The Umber and Peridot. Uh, Peridot's, I don't know. Can't wait to spend all my powder on Potom 10, yippee. Well, I mean, it's it's a pretty significant buff to be able to get everything from those. Peak of the Mountain is, is pretty cool. And it's a not insignificant amount of levels long term, especially, you know, if you're maxing things out. I should probably invest uh, more in getting all the fossils and stuff done. Or not fossils, sorry, the uh, X scrap. You know, drop 100 mil on it. See what happens. Do 200 scrap openings. Get all the powder I need. 
obviously after I get a, a maxed out chisel, and then I can, uh, you know, really take advantage of that. Gambling? Oh, yeah. I love gambling. Who doesn't love gambling? You when I blow 400 mil on skeleton keys and lose everything? That's so based. Can I? Oh, I can't use both. That's so sad. Oh, wait. I can just do that, and then... I can't make it a keybind and, like, swap. That's pretty smart. They apply separately. Yeah, I think tree cap will become relatively useless. I don't think it'll be actually useless. I think there'll still be, like, reasons to have it as an early game player. I just think that there's going to be stuff that outclasses it so obviously. You know, it's like saying... Before Dwarven Mines came out. It's like someone saying, should I invest in stonks? You know, I just think that that's having a, a limited view of what they can do. Like they already said they're adding sweep. They already said they're going to be doing mechanics to prevent players from, I don't know, getting a lot of logs at once if you're just using something like a tree cap. So why invest in them? You know? Yeah. Shattered locket. Let's see. Three point four bill. That's crazy. That'll be less expensive in a week or two, hopefully. Well, I mean, you do the math on that, right? It's a one in two hundred fifty-two drop. Um, and it's about fifty mil per one. So I guess about three billion is pretty reasonable. Still crazy. Worth, worth, yeah. Catman is here. Hello, Catman. 1 252? I've heard it's around 1 252. 0.04? Is that 1 250? Am I stupid? Maybe I'm stupid. I don't know what that comes out to. I heard 1 in 252, but that could just be somebody just making up information on the internet. Entirely possible, so don't worry about me if I'm wrong. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to heat up some pastitsu for breakfast. If you don't know what pastitsu is, it's basically like a Greek lasagna type thing. 1 in 1800, says a wiki? Per, like the actual wiki? That doesn't seem right. Or is that the fandom wiki? I think the fandom wiki was like actually trolling. That's real? Holy crap, that's actually insane. I didn't think it was that. It was going to be that rare. I'm unofficial. That's nuts. That's kind of stupid. That's objectively kind of stupid. I'm not even going to lie. 1 in 1800. That's, that's silly. I think they just need to stop with the, the making comically rare things anymore. I, I think we're so past that point um, from a game design perspective. You know, you look at RNG meter and the good it's done for things like dungeons. That's a per roll. There's like five to eight rolls per. It's still one in 250. That's kind of... Uh, it's a little better, yeah. But regardless, I, I think they need to chill out in the future on comically rare and expensive things. Like, I understand they want things to be a money sink. And that is a, objectively a money sink. But... I don't know. I, I just... I don't like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's still 60 mil per attempt for a rare corpse. It ain't rare mineshaft, yeah. I don't know. I think there's more interesting ways they could do money sinks than, than that. This is with Vanguard Key only, yeah. Only Vanguard Key has a chance of that. I think that's about 1 in 252, though, with the amount of rolls that it gets. So, I think I was still on point there. I think someone did the math on that on the forums. That's where I got that number from. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't have a problem with rare things in Skyblock. Um, 
I think the way, for example, handles are set up now is fine. I think the way dungeon drops are set up in general is good. But, like, Devon, for example. I think there needs to be a serious consideration for a RNG meter for Devon. Why? Because I think that, currently, it is very silly how you can theoretically grind infinitely and never get it. You know? And I think that there should always be a path to getting something. Especially rare items that are that are useful in Skyblock. You know? 1, 282 in average with a 6.6 .6 per corpse. You know? I was right. Kind of. I said 252. I lied. It's 282. Devon not having an RNG meter is definitely a missed good point. Hello, Looney. What's up? Hello, Mario. Yeah, I, I think that that's kind of a, a major miss at the point at this point. I, I think that that's really silly. That 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 specifically is is like look at the price right now for Devon drill. Well, I guess it's it's not spelled that way. It's Devon's. Regardless, like it's comically expensive. There's no logical reason this should cost more than a hype with all of the. Uh, the items added onto it, all of the uh, scrolls, the wither scrolls, or wither shield, whatever, wither, wither shield, 329, that's still very expensive. I don't know, I don't, I don't see a logical reason for that. It's too rare for the little uh, ads. I understand people want, you know, well, it's divine, it's supposed to be, you know, a rare drop. I get that. I understand that. And... You know, I think there's ways you could compromise on that. You know, you could make it so there's an RNG meter, but if you get it off the meter, not, like, from a truly random drop, then it comes soulbound or comes co-op soulbound. I even think that's going a little too far. I think the whole point of Skyblock is being able to, like, you know, get items and, and put them on the market and sell stuff. But, like, it's a little much, is my point, you know? It doesn't really crazily changed the uh the game and I, I think that's not really beneficial money sink as in stimulating the economy the coins aren't being deleted so it doesn't really help too much anyway yeah you're right it doesn't really get me it doesn't really get deleted but the point is if you're you're paying for an attempt and you have a chance to fail some of those coins could get wiped out in theory like uh if you don't make enough back to sell yeah devon drill isn't worth a billion yeah it's just artificially worth a billion because people, you know, see the thing and they're like, oh my lord. Yeah, it also prevents any better drills from existing because of how rare it is. Exactly. Like, let's just say in the far future, we get 2025, right? And they're like, well, we want to work on mining again. You know, we've touched up all the other skills. We want to do mining 75. We want to make another island. They have two choices. They can make a drill better than Devon, which retroactively makes devon completely worthless right because like why would you willingly subject yourself to grinding for it or going for it whatsoever when you can just go for a better drill and what that's going to do is it's going to make people generally at least a little bit less interested in running repeated runs of nucleus you know and that is potentially going to make devon even rarer especially if you're you're doing it as part of new content or you make an upgrade for Devon, which completely ruins the point of the new drill. Um, you know, if you if you upgrade Devon instead, you're just making it a requirement even more so. And you're just locking the players who don't have it out of even more so. And it's going to become frustrating at that point. Especially considering that whenever new content drops, there are less people playing old content. That's just how content works. I think the way Skyblock operates at this point, they need to do what I would like to call condensation. And, and by condensation, I mean when you release new content, condense the amount of time it takes to complete the old content. You know what I mean? Like, if you drop a new update that increases the amount of combat content, you should make the old combat content a little bit faster. Not by a huge margin. Um, and not by a margin significant enough to where players feel like, you know, like they got screwed over, but enough to where it's noticeable.
for for the yeah kind of like a catch-up mechanic but not really because it, it's more so about keeping the overall length of time it takes to complete the game the same you know they've said that this is their goal themselves they don't want the game to be theoretically infinite to complete you know they don't want players to be here for 10 trillion hours and still have more to do like they've said that in design documents you know I think they thought they were done with mining. I mean, they're not. They clearly want to do at least two more, or at least one more update after this, so. Like, the example for a catch-up mechanic for this would be, like, retroactively making it so it's easier to get the old types of powder. And, like, making things like Devon Drill drop more consistently. Or making the, the forge items take less time to craft the old ones, or cost less resources to craft. So that players are spending more of their time not getting to the new content, but playing the new content. Which is what they want. Because in theory, the new content should be the best, and that gets into a whole nother thing, but yeah. It's 1 in 1800, but roll 6 times. Yeah, 1 in 282. Powder buff, powder buff. Yeah. I, I don't know. It's not even about making the game easier, because I know, like... People are going to look at my level and be like, Dorelius, you just want the game to be easier. But, like, even if I never played again, even if I even if I were maxed out, um, I really am a believer in, in catch-up mechanics. I, I promoted catch-up mechanics so hard for Monumenta when I was a dev there. It was crazy how often I promoted that. That was, like, the majority of my work there was, when I wasn't making strikes, was making catch-up mechanics or talking about making catch-up mechanics. Whether that be through simplifying and, like, speeding up the early game story, or, like, making the death system not complete garbage for new players. You know? I, I am a big proponent of making sure that when you add new content, older players are able to get to it and enjoy it. And I think that's one of those things that Skywalk hasn't really been the best at. Um, especially with regards to, to things like rare drops, which I think they, until recently, have been mostly bad at. I think things like RNG meter are excellent, though, and they should keep it up on that. Catch-up mechanics? Yeah, catch-up mechanics. I guess I do say it like that. But yeah, I'm a huge proponent of that. The old death system was painful. I've heard more than a few people who are, like, relatively new players... Be like, guys, we should bring back old Monumenta death mechanics. And I'm like, you're insane. You've actually lost your mind. Like, you weren't around for it, bro. You gotta stop talking. You didn't live when you, you know, died once in Cyan in the lava and now you had to pay 40 HXP. That was, like, a nightmare scenario. That was terrible. Like, that happened and you were out for, like, a week grinding to get money back. Die once and go broke. Real. I don't understand why people want that back. I think some people are just genuinely insane. Yeah, they could make double powder more common. They could make it happen in tandem with other events more frequently. That'd be cool. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't have any problems with the update. I, I just am a proponent of these changes, of these ideas. Um, I always have been. I always will be. No one can tell me otherwise. I know, elite, like, a lot of elite players have told me, like, your ideas are bad. And I'm like, I don't care. I'm gonna keep spouting them to the people. Cope. Because, like, I'm very happy that you put your 10,000 hours in to max out the game. That's awesome. But in the future, I don't want a new player to have to put 20,000 hours in. You know? I think that's a little unreasonable. I think we can pick an, an amount that's difficult, but still attainable. And keep it at that. Because otherwise, if you're going to get to a point where players are not going to be interested in, in doing the grind at all, you know, it, it becomes so overwhelming, why even bother? You know, oh, you're never going to get a hype, because without RNG meter, you're going to have to do a trillion F7s. Good luck, bro. And then you're going to have to do 10 trillion, you know, runs of Crystal Hollows and 10 trillion runs of Glacite. Like, is it really, is it even worth it, you know? What is this game you're talking about? I'm talking about Monumenta, a uh, MMO server for 1.20 that I worked on for a little while. That was the uh, other game I was mentioning. I was a dev there for about a year and a half, maybe two tops. It's pretty cool. 
That's why I don't make an Iron Man. It's just not worth it to me. Like, why even bother? Yeah, Warden Heart shouldn't be that much on meter. I agree. I agree. Like, I, I understand the logic of, like, Skyblock is meant to be a grindy game. You know? Like, I agree. But the problem is, it's not 2019 anymore. There aren't two grinds. There aren't four. There aren't seven. There's a hundred, two hundred, three hundred things that you have to grind for. All of them, you know? If you want to be maxed out, if you want to get this, if you want to get that. And it's hard to sell that to a new player. Also, I don't think Skyblock will be ever ported to Hytale. I think that will never happen. Yeah. It's hard to sell it to a new player, you know? It's hard to sell it to Jade, for example, who's like, I just think that just sounds like a lot, you know? It just sounds like too much. I'm not even gonna lie. And I, I, can't, I can't fault her for feeling that way. But you say that to, you know, a more than a few people in the community, and they're like, well, that's the point of the game, you know? You're gonna be ruining the soul of the game if you do that. I'm like, are you really? Like, are you even going to notice that? Are players who actually did the content already actually going to notice anything different? No, they're not. They're not going to notice because they haven't done it, or they're not going to do it again. Or if they are going to do it again, they're going to be thankful that it actually happened because it made their lives easier. Anyway. Yeah, you can have a grindy game without it taking up your literal entire life. I think that that's a uh, good design philosophy to have. And it's, it's the worst part about it to me is that I feel like they kind of go in that direction sometimes, and then I, I see another decision from them, and I'm like, why? Like, why do that? Why did you think that that would be any better than the old system? Or, like, why did you think that that would make things better for the game? Hoppity update drops probably Tuesday. Probably. I'm not 100% certain, but probably Tuesday. Anyway, yeah, that's my my rant for the night. Maybe I'll make a video on that, but like at the same time, I'm so like skeptical of making a video because I already get flamed from people like so frequently about my opinions because I'm like not the best player in this game and I understand that. But um, at this point, like I don't really even care anymore. I just like want the game to be better and I know that we'll make it better, like objectively. I know that will increase retention. I know that will, like, increase the amount of players that play the damn game. Because I've, like, done that on other servers, on other games that were really hard. And you can do that without making the server or, or content easier. You can, you can use that as a springboard to make more interesting and more difficult content. You know? If you make things like hype easier to get four years in, you can make content upon the reliance that most people will have a hype and therefore you can make content that's theoretically harder you know spit your shit Aurelius. real i don't know i just like i know game design like i did it for years i did it for minecraft for years and like Elitist players can can tell you know whatever they want about the fact that I'm not level five trillion at this point, and that's like their prerogative. But like the reason why I'm not level four hundred in Skyblock isn't because I'm like bad at grinding or something. It's because I play like seven MMOs. Like at like at the same time that I play Skyblock, I'm playing Destiny two. I play Fallout seventy six. I play Elder Scrolls Online. Like I play a lot of other games, man. I play Warframe. I'm, like, doing all this other content and all these other games. I just don't have time to play Skyblock all the time, man. I like these other games. Look at my playtime in all those other games, and it's going to add up to pretty significant amounts. But, uh, yeah, also am I lagging out? No, I guess I'm not. I thought I was lagging out, but I guess I wasn't. Oh, yeah, you caught up. Good job, cool guy. You have to be careful so it won't hurt the economy. I don't care. I don't care about the economy. The economy will bounce back from anything you do. Think about it like this, right? Arth or Arthur, I'm gonna say. Arthur, is that how you pronounce it? Think about it like this. If you make 
the Vaughn. An RNG meter thing, right? It's going to make there be more Devons in the economy, sure. But there's also going to be a lot more people trading back and forth for Devons. Because they're, they're not going to be locked out of the price point, you know? You're not really going to be inflating the economy by any significant margin. Especially if the price is going to fall by a significant margin as well, you know? If supply doubles and demand falls by half, you haven't really changed anything, you know? You've just changed who is trading items. D2 is so bad. Lightfall was a disappointment. I agree that, that Lightfall was a disappointment, but I like the new stuff they're doing. I like the uh, Into the Light stuff. It's pretty fire. Um, I think there's ways that you can, you can do that um, and not lead to major issues. And, and a further proof of my point is something like Hyperion, which even with an RNG meter has gotten very expensive. You know, even with the RNG meter, you're still looking at a hype, and it's it's very expensive. Now, obviously, just based off of the way that Skyblock works, there is, you know, inflation in the economy. Let me find the cheapest weather impact. 1.9. 1.9 bill, 2 bill. You know, there's still inflation. And that's just because they're adding more jobs, more things to do. And I think people have to understand that after a while, skyblock inflation is just part of the economy at this point. It's just how it is. But, um, that's, that's just fine. I, I think they also have to understand that because we're not seeing, um, here's, here's another point. Because things like Devon RNG meter don't exist, because a lot of the high-end content is kind of very tailored to specific builds, and because some builds are so hard to get, because of the lack of RNG meter, because of the lack of, of easier to get stuff, we're seeing situations where endgame players or rich players just consolidate and accumulate crazy amounts of wealth, which, by extension, makes the rest of the economy more inflated, you know? Skyblock's economy is a very, very rich-get-richer economy, you know? If you are one of the best players, you have access to the best gear. You've already bought it. You've already participated in the best and hardest-to-do content. You have access to the best money-making methods. You're going to accumulate more and more and more wealth. And that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. But when that pool of players is relatively small, they will accumulate very, very substantial amounts of wealth. Now, I'm not going to be calling for redistribution, you know, I'm not a communist, but there are situations in which, you know, maybe there should be some redistribution. And it doesn't have to be in the form of, like, obviously a, a literal redistribution where the wealth is literally taken out of their wallets, but it could be in the form of making that content relatively easier to get to or relatively more fair. I don't think calling for RNG meters is is particularly unfair for things like the bot. Reaganomics. Literally Reaganomics to its extreme is the Skyblock economy. More, yeah, more things like the G-Drag would be great. I agree. Untradeable cosmetics could do that. Um... I think untradeable cosmetics would go really far. I think what they should do with every fire sale is that they should sell a version of the item in, in like a theoretically infinite quantity. But in order to get that item and other than with gems, you have to trade like a crazy amount of skyblock coins. Also, thank you for the two. I'm not a communist, but listen. Sometimes, you listen to a little too much Marx, and all of a sudden, Skyblock looks like Reaganomics, you know? Money sinks hurt for Iron Man? Yeah, but for cosmetic stuff, it won't matter. For cosmetic stuff, who cares? Yeah, more things like the Kutra follower set would be good, too. Why doesn't communism even work? Explain. I can explain why communism doesn't work, if you want me to. The actual reason why communism doesn't work is because people suck. And I mean that in the most objective way possible. 
if every human being on the planet immediately just disavowed greed and everyone didn't commit crime and like everyone was like objectively good you know no one was greedy no one wanted war everyone wanted what's best for everybody else communism would work the problem is that people are naturally greedy people naturally want wealth and they naturally want more wealth than the person next to them they want to be the best people have a desire to succeed more than other people and in that system, the best you can do, in my opinion, is a semi-mixed market with with high safety nets for the people who uh, need it, you know? But full communism will not work, especially the way that, like, Marx wanted it, which was, like, fully classless, fully stateless, no leader, um, you know, workers' unions, things like that. That would never happen. That would never work. Um... And it's because of lust for power, it's because of greed, it's because of things like that. I know I'm just like, I know I'm just talking crazy, but what did I just walk into? Yeah, talking about communist theory. Maybe I become a bread tuber. <laughs> what I just joined to. Uh, hello. Sorry guys, you missed me talking about communist theory. Yeah, the world only has enough for everyone's need, not everyone's greed. Exactly, yeah. Discussion on communism. Yeah, sorry about that. That was pretty funny, though. But yeah. The reason why Soviet-style communism specifically didn't work, by the way, was because the leaders in charge of the Soviet Union were very paranoid because power was very concentrated both in the hands of the leader and also the hands of the Politburo. Um, and if the Politburo didn't like you, you could get kicked out, which made both sides very skeptical of each other, which made making decisions way harder than it should have been. Say what you want about the U.S. government, but at least the U.S. government can occasionally do something bipartisan. And at least the president doesn't have to think about Congress, like, just deciding to kill him, you know? That doesn't happen. So, that that's why Soviet communism failed. I need another Glacite Shard you selling? Actually, yes, I am. Our Paradot. Our Devon's Drills. Our money. Maybe I should start a communist revolution in Skyblock. Our Devon's Drills. <laughs> Thank you. This is a good deal, Taco Cat. Appreciate it, brother. Crazy deal, man. <laughs> yeah, Aurelius, my bad. We need a we need a communist revolution. Aren't shards like 20k? Don't don't tell him that. Don't tell him that, cool guy. Don't tell him that. <laughs> no, he knows. Skyblock is essentially, essentially communism. No, it's not. It's basically like the most rugged free market capitalism ever. Skyblock is what would happen if free market capitalism was taken to its logical extreme. Hence the huge wealth disparities and, like, I don't know, the major gaps in wealth <laughs> between people. Also, GG, that's a Jasper gem. That's awesome. Also, I didn't collect that guy. My bad. Or a Jasper crystal. A jeweled handle, yippee. I love getting handles. Yeah, Skyblock is literally the maximum potential of capitalism. You're so right. Potential and, like, profit-making potential. NPC selling isn't very free market. It's actually very close to a minimum wage. Thinking about, like, jobs in Skyblock as, like, getting the commodity, you can consider NPC selling to be very close to a minimum wage. And in Skyblock, a lot of those minimum wages are so low that they are effectively irrelevant and only serve to not allow certain commodities to fall to literally zero. Just wait till the NPCs start a union. Yeah. Except gemstones. Yeah, I guess. Is one coin about equivalent to a dollar or nah? Let me hear your take on this. No, not even close. Not even close, in my opinion. 
I think there's a huge difference uh, between that and a dollar. I'd say about a million is equivalent to one dollar. Or like, I guess in game. Are you looking at in game? Like, what would one one what what would it cost in coins in game to buy like a Big Mac? Also, how to spot American or how to <laughs> spot an American? Imagine a burger. Anyway, um, I would say based on like. Let me, let me do this. Watch, watch, watch. I'm going to do something so based. I'm going to do something so incredibly based. A coffee in real life, maybe two, three dollars. Like a normal coffee, not like a, not like a really good coffee. Maybe a little bit more. An iced tea, for example, is, is 99 cents. So we can peg about a dollar to about a thousand coins, right? Because look at this. An iced tea, you can get a 99 cent Arizona iced tea for 99 cents, obviously. Uh, here's a bitter iced tea for a thousand. I think Arizona's pretty bitter. So it's about a thousand to one exchange rate. A 1k to one exchange rate in Skyblock. So if you're looking at it from like an objective standpoint, you just divide my net worth of 15.3 billion by a, by a thousand. Just divide that out. 15, 343, 148, 129. Divided by a thousand. And that's a net worth of around 15 mil, which honestly seems pretty reasonable for the amount of effort I've put in the game. I feel like I would be worth about 15 million dollars if my skyblock like wealth was translated to real life, which I find very entertaining. That means the richest people would be about like worth about 500 mil. 600 mil, maybe. I don't know what the net worth leaderboard is like anymore. It's probably higher than that. Playtime. 2100 hours. Yeah, with time conversions, that seems pretty reasonable. I don't know, that doesn't really seem that unreasonable for the the way things work in game. What would your wage be? Divide that by the hours. 15 million by 2100. It's about $7,200 an hour. I'll tell you, guys, I'm pretty efficient. I'm a pretty efficient guy. See you later, handcrafted hobbies. Make sure you like and subscribe, fellas, for some more epic Skyblock content and also live pom-pom reactions. Oh, he's so wonderful. Look at him in that corner. Yippee. <laughs> My net worth. Still don't have any correlate or all correlate game items, man. A Big Max worth of Skyblock coins, about 220 mil. What? No, it'd be about 7,000. Free base message? Oh, cookies to uh, coins. That makes sense. Gems to cookies to coins, yeah. A Big Max, about 220 million Skyblock coins. That's crazy. <laughs> How much are, uh, cookies are 8.8. .8. It's actually not that bad. Yeah, they've fallen over the last 24 hours. Probably because no fire sale this weekend. That usually doesn't. Dark Truth of Hoppity's factory video. That sounds funny. Shin's auction is pretty limited. I think it should be more items per, uh, thing. Per round. Add a few more items. Literally just make five legendary accessories and title them Legendary Accessory 1 through 5, and people would go absolutely ballistic for them. Instantaneous, massive coin sink. Instantaneously. Huge coin sink right there. I'm a genius, chat. So a Big Mac at $6 is 22.2 2 million Skyblock coins. Sounds about right. That's pretty crazy. Five 
Fastest method to get a Devon drill? Pray. Prayer. Prayer is the mass or fastest method. Objectively. The fastest way. Prayer. Gambling and prayer. Man, I found like nothing in that. That's so sad. Just fossil dust. That's so sad. Man, I'm getting unlucky. Oh. I unluckily clicked there. I won't have enough. This is so sad. Oh yeah, I did have enough actually. I lied. Spine fossil. Yippee. Spine fossil is pretty cool. Man, I'm getting like, very unlucky with these spawns, man. Hello, Jade. How are you doing? Yeah, I've had to the house. You feeling okay? Yeah, I'm feeling <coughs> as well as I can. Well, already. Alright, bye chat. Bye chat. Bye studying. Also, bye. look at that. I got a, a fossil. Oh, cool. Webbed fossil. So that's two of them so far. Good job. I'm proud of you. Thank you. What's on out? Very sad. <laughs> uh, Spinosaurus. I can get actually. I'm gonna keep that one. I'll put these in a backpack for now. So maybe these empty. This one's empty. Those there. Cool. But Mod is showing you that. Uh, SBE. Upgrade or uh, upgrade uh, update. Sorry, that's why I burped. Sorry, that's unlucky. Yeah, the uh, update to SBE shows you that. It's very nice. Skytails has it too. Yeah. Skytails has it too for free, so keep that in mind. Have fun streaming. Bye. Yeah, see you later, man. Salt, Erm Dorelius Prayer has never been objectively shown to increase rates of Devon drops. Your mother. Counterpoint. Sorry, that's just how it is. So make sure you like the stream. We have 25 likes on the stream. Let's get to 40. Oh yeah, another thing I wanted to briefly mention. On the store, the Dorelius store, we have some new merch. Um, I've been tweaking it the last couple days, trying to make it look as good as possible. It's just some dice. Archfiend dice and... Uh, Fiend dice, regular fiend dice, I don't know. High class and the regular uh, arch fiend dice. Anyway. Um, yeah, I, I think they look really cool. Jade made the designs for them, they look sick. So, yeah. Bye, commie man. See you later, clocks. Have fun in school, man. Have a good time. Prayer is the real RNG meter. You're so real for that. You're so right. 6% of the way till Heart of the Mountain 9. It's not going too bad. I feel like this is very suboptimal gameplay though. It's hugely unoptimal. Oh, look at that. Can I warp anyone else? Please, thank you, Kuga, for being warped. Uh, there we go. Non-crystal, which is a little sad. Won't let me buy Dorelius t-shirts nor show me the website at all. Is it really down? That's kind of sad. Nope, it's up. It is up currently. Or at least it's up for me. This? I think could work. It's Jasper, who cares? Base. 
That link should work. Alright, that guy's got. That works, but not the one in the description. Um, let me see. Oh, that's my regular website. I gotta get that link out of there. You're so right. I don't know why I have that there. Merch store. Yeah, that's my. That was my other like my actual website when I had a website. Um, but now I don't. So I'm gonna update that. You're so right. Thank you for noticing that. That was kind of awkward. Oh, that was the shop, no worries. Yeah, yeah, that was my real website when I had one. Um, but I got rid of it a while ago because it wasn't really providing me any benefit. Uh, and it was kind of silly. Much rather would have a little merch store separately in terms of website content. Or, or website in general things going on. Let's go this. And this. Oh. There we go. Yippee. That was pretty easy. Tusk fossil. Very cool. I'll keep these uh for Jade. Jade will want these for sure. Another seven million here. It's very sick. Another two point six there. Still making a pretty significant amount of money. The shop's pretty cool. I, I like it a lot. I think it's actually, uh, I don't know, a fairly solid addition. And, and we're going to try to keep adding more and more stuff. Hopefully we'll have like 20, 30 designs in the future. Over the next year or two we'll add. Giraffe is actually good for E-Man. That's crazy. Is it like better than uh, Drag or E-Drag or G-Drag? Or is it just kind of like, not the worst thing in the world? Does her girlfriend give you extra mining fortune? That's a good joke. That is a diamond goblin. I've never killed one. Come here. Come here. Ah, you die. Come here. Ah, ah I'm bad at this. Okay, there we go. Yippee, I killed him. That was really objectively terrible. Transfer cool guy. Okay. Two lapis ones here. Very cool. I guess we're just killing stuff. Cool guy, you know, you can, um, if you have a hype, you could just hype them. It'll do a little damage to them, it won't kill them outright, and that way other people can get, uh, the bestiary. Hard Mountain Tier 10, very cool, very, very cool. Just to let you know. Any mage weapon works, yeah. All mage weapons are great for it. They are they are damage capped by a huge margin. Live pom pom reaction. I'm glad you like that. All right, the monkey. She's perfect. It would be true. You're so right. That's awesome. Salt lol. Salt lol. Are you simping? Are you simping salt lol? It's messed up. I don't care though because you're like six, I think. That's a pretty accurate depiction of your age. I prefer going in drills blazing. I'm gay in 17. You know what? Fair enough. Accurate. <laughs> True live salt lol reaction. Maybe I should make that one of them. Salt lol, would you like to turn in, be turned into a reaction image? Or maybe I could do an Ari the Monkey one. I feel like if I did an Ari the Monkey one though, I'm basically just getting an NFT. Because he, like, Ari the Monkey is an NFT, you know? If you think about it. Is he really any different? Poor 
put them next to each other. Yeah. True. I could put them next to each other, so right. Guys, we've been live for two hours. That's crazy. I don't even feel tired yet. How close are we to 900 subs? Well, 63,900. 63,875. That's not that bad, actually. We're doing pretty good. What's your chocolate collection rate? Bad. Bad, honestly. That's the way to level up chocolate prestige. Max out time tower. ASAP. Get tons of rabbits. Let's see. Glacite and citrine. Does the cookie clicker sim do anything useful like skyblock XP or talismans? Yes to both. 160 skyblock XP and a full set of talismans all the way up to uh, legendary, which becomes mythic. A level 50 dropped the first die. That's so crazy. I gotta reach out to that guy. I gotta make him an offer. I'll pay him 200 mil for it. Sold for 100 bill? That's crazy. That guy is, like, comically wealthy now. He's more wealthy than me. Bro won the game. Like, instantaneously. Seventeen bed. I'm ranked fifth. That's crazy. That's why I hate RNG drops. Bro won the game instantly. He actually sold it? Yeah, apparently. A hundred bill, though. That's worth it, honestly. I would, I would take that offer any day. Like, with a hundred bill, you can buy anything that you would ever need in Skyblock. And people trying to shark. That makes sense. Yeah, people are probably going crazy trying to shark that out. Anyway. I feel like we've done a pretty decent job. A little bit of a productive day here, which is shocking for the Derelius channel. I figure I'll wrap up right about now, though. It is getting late. I'm getting tired. How many Big Macs? 100 bill? At least 6, probably. Yeah. 100 bill, I feel like you can buy anything in Skyblock, like, past, present, and future. I don't think the game will ever require you to have more than 100 bill in, in net worth. I mean, I feel like I I own most of the stuff in the game, and I'm only at 15 bill. I feel like if I double that, there's not really too much extra I would I would buy. I don't I don't know what else I would really get at that point. Some of the minion upgrades, the last ones, obviously. Um, you know, a few few other items, some Blaze Slayer stuff, and uh, I don't know. I, I don't even know. That That's how, like, I feel like I'm very close to endgame already. Or not endgame, but, like, end of the line in terms of buying new items. Explaining microtransactions to an American. Imagine a burger. <laughs> I love that bit. Time Tower doesn't seem to reset when you level up, by the way, so it's a pretty safe investment. I love the Imagine a Burger meme. Explaining Skyblock's economy to an American. Imagine a burger. Yippee. Alright. I'm gonna leave that party because I'm gonna wrap up now. Thank you guys for watching the stream. I had a great time. This was fun. We'll do this more during the week and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about the stuff dropping this week. There's gonna probably be a Chocolate Factory. There's gonna be Mayor stuff going on. It's gonna be pretty intense. A uh, pretty big week. Skyblock News is going to be active, as you know, getting you all the stuff you need to know. Yippee. Um, I already made a preemptive guide to Hoppity Chocolate. I, I kind of just described how it works. Um, I'll probably do a further, more advanced guide um, 
yeah, I'll probably do that during the week as well. See you guys, though. Have a great night. Join Discord. You know how it is. Bye-bye. Also, live pom-pom reaction.